Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today's video that I'm going to edit uh, will be, I think, the fifth video in the series of my trip north to Isan uh, on the bike. And uh, it'll be a little bit of the last day in Buriram and some of the trip and the beginning of the um, uh, time in uh, Wapipatum which is in Mahasarakam, which was my next stop on the journey. And for uh, one viewer, Jeff, uh, you asked about the bike. The bike I'm using is a Honda Forza 300cc. It's a 2020, uh, yeah, late 2020, it was a new model, um, just before they brought out the Forza 350. Uh, the bike's extremely comfortable. My cruising speed most times was around 110 kilometers an hour. Uh, I tra had it in a uh, lot of conditions. When I was in Wabi Patum, I was out in the bush, basically out on the farms. So uh, it was helpful to have the fat tires on it because it got through the sand pretty easily, uh, the sandy tracks. Yeah, so the bike was really comfortable. It carries a hell of a lot of equipment underneath the seat. I put a small backpack under the seat uh, and a, sm and a uh, sm and a small uh, uh, amount of equipment in the two in the front of the two sections under the seat. So it carries a lot of equipment. I've put a uh, top box on it. So the top box is pretty large. That takes a fair bit of equipment too. Uh, because I went for so long, I had a back pack as well that I strapped onto the uh, pillion passenger seat so and very easily accessible everything on that trip the the bike's extremely comfortable although mind you my old knees I knew to stop every two or three hours to have a coffee and a bit of a walk around so yeah but the bike's really comfortable it's uh, you can put your feet right up on the front it's uh, extend your feet right out kind of like a big bike but yeah, it's, uh, it's really good, it's reliable. The fuel consumption was fantastic. Um, I'll, put a, uh, I'll put a link up the top somewhere here to the uh, video where I did my first uh, personal review of the, of the Honda Forza not long after I got it. But yeah, it went really well. I did 3,000 kilometers or so over 11 days and it went fantastic, not one problem whatsoever. Okay, so let's get on with the video. As I said, this will just be a little bit of uh, the last day in uh, Buriram and a little bit of the beginning of my trip to Wapipatum in uh, Mahasarakam in Isan. So please enjoy the video. Please share the videos. I think now I'm five off 200 subscribers. Really happy about that. And I thank everybody that responded. Kerry and uh, Paul and uh, everyone who uh, responded and uh, actually subscribed to the channel if I missed your name I'm sorry but uh, yeah I'm really happy about that getting up towards 200 only five to go so please share the videos like the videos and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe it doesn't cost anything but a few moments of your time so okay let's get on with the video thanks very much for watching ciao for now just sitting here having a cold drink before I climb the mountain with my little buddy here sharing my chicken kebab chicken satay stick. Aroi mai? Eh? Aroi? Aroi, yeah? Ah, just relaxing. It's hot, it's been a long ride, and then I'm gonna go up the mountain here. I'm not actually going to walk up the stairs, I'm going to cheat, I'm going to go up on the bike.
So, uh, I've left Buriram, I'm uh, now in Mahasarakam and this will be uh, a couple more videos actually because I got a lot of footage and seen a lot of things and had a lot of fun on the farm and seen a calf born and yeah, just a, a really wonderful time out in real rural Thailand. Uh, this place is uh, Pratat Dung in uh, Wapi Patum. This is where I'm meeting up with my long time best friend in Thailand, person I've known the longest since I've been coming to Thailand. And uh, meeting up and going out and spending some time out in real rural Thailand in Isan, in Wapi Patum. So I've got to sit around here and, and wait for her to show up. So I'll have a cold drink and uh, then we'll um, head off to uh, where I'm going to stay. So I've uh, met up with my friend and uh, on the way to get to the accommodation I'm going to stay in, we've just called in on a couple of friends of hers to in be introduced and sit in the shade of a tree and have a beer and a relax and a cool down, take our shoes off and uh, they're cutting some grass. I think it's called guinea grass. This is a special grass they cut up like chaff for, to feed the cows on the farm. And uh, I'll show you that. That'll be in the next video when we go to the farm and uh, have a look around and uh, some more of uh, Wapi Patum and Dong Dan. So I'm in uh, Lan Pai and uh, I'm staying at this place which is called Ama Apartments which cost me 550 baht for the night it's uh, quite comfortable uh, there's no uh, bigger hotel over there Jasper Hotel which I think cost about 1200 baht a night 1200 baht a night uh, this one's quite comfortable it suits my needs just a night of sleep, a shower. Uh, there's no coffee making facilities in the room, but in the morning they put the coffee making facilities at the front here. So I'll go up and show you the room. It's key card access to get into the building and a key for the room. Okay, so I'll finish my coffee and then I'll go up and show you the room. I'm actually ready to check out, so yeah. So this is my room in the Ama Apartments in Ban Pai. Somewhere to put your shoes and hang your clothes. Big king bed, really solid, sort of hard. I had a really good sleep on that last night. Um, it's a pretty good room for 550 baht. So I think that's about 25 bucks or 20 bucks. I'll, uh, I'll put that price in the video when I edit it, everything. Um, there's no coffee making facilities, but as you saw in the previous clip there's uh, coffee making facilities downstairs you've got uh, complimentary water you know your shower gel and your shampoo and conditioner the bathrooms uh, pretty good fairly clean functional hot water sink clean toilet not too bad at all for the price and uh, I had a really good sleep aircon many views it's got this funny little balcony on it enclosed balcony which uh, with this water trough thing I have no idea what that's for so yeah maybe it's uh, you can uh, fill it up with water I don't know <laughs> I have no idea have a bath or something there's the other section of it over there plenty of parking bikes parked downstairs there it's a little bit noisy today there's a view, sort of a view over the township. Yeah, so it's um, not too bad. All in all, I was quite happy with it for the price. Yeah, Ama Apartments. I'll put a link in the information under the video when I finally get around to editing it. TV, of course, only Thai TV. Yeah, so. I'm ready to check out. So I had a really good sleep last night. It's a good bed. Okay. So that's it. Amma Apartments.